bacon powder, bacon soda, yeast. What do those things mean? They mean leveling agents. And the way you use them is for purposes that uh, create the different textures and the different taste in baked goods. And so let me give you an example. This is yeast, okay? So I'm going to put the, I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to add water to it. Now if the water is over 120 degrees, over 122 degrees, it's going to kill the yeast, all right? If it's uh, below 80 degrees, it won't make it react. If I put salt in it, it'll kill it. If I put sugar in it, it's going to feed it and make it grow. And so that's the thing about yeast. That's the kind of things that makes it work. Okay. Now, baking powder is different. Baking powder is ready to go, and the texture on baking powder is different. You simply mix it with water. That's all you have to do. And water can be warm. It, it can be cold. It doesn't really matter. You mix it with water and get it pasty, and then it's, it's, ready, it's ready to use. See, I had foams like this. Now, that's, it's re you know this is active baking powder, and it's, and it's ready to go. I mean, it has a nice foam to it. Now, if I take the baking soda, and put it also in water, it's not going to have a reaction. And uh, what's going to create the reaction, you see how it is, is you've got to add an acid to it because baking soda alone won't make things rise. The acid will. And so you put a little acid in it, and that's vinegar, and you can see the rise immediately. So those are the leavening agents. So that's what you use to make texture and to make taste in baked goods. So that's good cooking, good eating, and good loving. We love you guys out there.